right guys, uh, so basically today I'm coming at you with a video, basically just going to be going over how I found my sensitivity, and how I found a sensitivity that I felt comfortable with overall, and working on basically my refill and stuff like that. Uh, so for starters, I wanted to just go over what I did to find my sensitivity to begin with. Basically what I did is I went into a tea hunt, uh, I went to my options, I just sat there, went down to a sensitivity, a mouse, uh, sensitivity I felt comfortable with on the hip, I would just change this one by one every time until I found something that I felt like I should stick with, which was 11. Uh, and then basically what I did was, I had 65 as my ADS, but since the new season they added this new advanced ADS and stuff like that, so I have it changed to this now that I plugged into the calculator and I got these numbers. Uh, so basically that's what I did, I would uh, I would just walk around the map, before I even shot the terror stunts I would just, I mean the, like the tears, I would just like walk around and just like find like a sensitivity I could just constantly 180 on. And just felt comfortable with playing on, and just overall my move, like when I was like flicking the stuff, it just felt like more natural than my old sense. Uh, and then I would just basically run around and do this for a bit, and then after that, I would eventually actually start going inside and trying to kill the terrorist. Basically, just going over and just trying to kill them as much as I can. I would, I didn't start by trying to one tap, uh, just because it's just not natural, and more often than not, I'm not gonna end up one tapping a game. So I don't want to do something in Terrace Hunt that I'm just not going to do overall in-game. Uh, over time though, I did start working on one-tapping them, Joe, because it is Terrace Hunt and I should be comfortable enough to flick to and hit shots because it should be my sensitivity and they're pretty much mostly stationary. Uh, but after that, I would just clear out a room and then find, find that this sensitivity worked best for me. I would shoot different objects as I walked around just so I could like flick the stuff and just overall felt like it felt smooth and comfortable and something that I could do consistently without having little to, like, much, uh, challenge doing so, just shooting whatever I want, and that was pretty much that. After I found my sensitivity, what I would do was pretty much find a empty spot in the map where there was pretty much no more terrorists bothering me, I find an ammo crate, and I would just stare at walls, and that sounds kind of vague, but basically what I would do is I would shoot at a wall, until I could hit a precise point consistently and basically my recoil was pretty much to the point where I could hit it from multiple ranges and not just right across the wall where I just hit like the same spot without having to deal with too much like variation in my shot. Um, once I mastered pretty much getting down the consistent point, uh, what I would do is find a different wall because I didn't want my dots to match and I'd constantly say about the urban bus because I had to keep doing this because when I first switched my recoil was pretty bad. Uh, but what I would do then was just go left and right with my, my shot, basically, because when you come down to it, sitting in siege, uh, more often than not, uh, terrorists, uh, well, the players that you verse against just aren't going to just be standing stationary, they are going to move, so you should be able to track them at around the same length, like, never try to have too much variation, never try to have, like, this, where it's, like, it's changing up, you want to have the, almost a straight line, if possible. And just work on basically having your recoil work so that you're able to shoot at both close and far ranges. And I just spent a lot of time, because like when I first switched, this wasn't as easy for me. It took a lot of time for me to get it to where it is now, where I could almost do it perfectly in a straight line and stuff like that. And I would just, that's all I did. I just sat in terrorist hunt for like hours on end until I was pretty much comfortable with how I felt like just shooting straight lines across and tracking and stuff like that. Uh, my last thing that I would do when I was playing on PC would be Kovacs, and I can show you guys my Kovacs routine here in a second. Uh, just give me one moment. Alright, so a common question for me ever since I told someone in my stream that I did Kovacs, or I mentioned it in one of my videos, someone asked me for my Kovacs routine, so pretty much this is what it is. Basically, every day when I load on my PC, I just go into Kovacs, and then I do pretty much these main three Kovacs. Sometimes I do this last one. But for the most part, I do these three right here, and this is how I start up my day. Basically, the first one I do is Ascend Training Tracking V3, where basically you load in, and there's four floors. You have all of the, there's only three at a time, uh, or five floors, I should say, for technically that. But, um, there's only three of these like little dummies at a time. Basically, you just track and shoot them. Uh, the movement's not completely predictable, so you have to just follow around with the shot and just switch to them. Uh, they're always... They never spawn in like the same spots, so you, like it helps you working on like ascending training, basically, where you're just tracking people at different like levels, or that not everyone's going to be on the same headlight as you on siege. It helps you like that in here, uh, basically just tracking and just making sure that you can hit the shot because their their movement is unpredictable and it's more more of a realistic thing. No one's going to just run in a straight line and wait for you to kill them, so it helps with that kind of thing. 
Uh, the second one that I use is this one. It's just one old six targets TE. Basically, TE, they just don't move. Um, they just, they're all stationary. It helps me for, like, flicking and stuff like that. Because it comes times in points in Siege where you just have to flick to different locations and just shoot your shot and hit it. Uh, so I feel like this one helps me a lot for that kind of thing. Just basically spend a little bit of time on here. I don't spend as much time on this one as I do the next one. But I just spend a little bit of time on here just so I can be, like, a kind of a warm-up to my warm-up. Because I have, uh, the one after this is very similar in a manner and I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, so the one after that is one fall five targets PSU track which is basically the one we just did but uh, they move. So basically the dots they don't stay stationary you have to track them down. You only have to hit them with three bullets but it, it does help because there's going to be time, points in time where you don't have the full body ascending like the, on the last my first one where you can see everything. There's going to be points of time in Siege where you just you can only see people's heads and you have to just work on tracking it when there's like fast peeking you and stuff like that. Or they're just like they're on a head glitch. You have to just make sure that you can track and shoot them in that kind of manner. So I feel like these are the ones that I use that are help me the most efficiently. Uh, I do use this one sometimes, but I haven't used it much recently since I found uh, the ascending one. But this is the one I use where basically it's just it's just one bot, but it's moving around. It's a lot more sporadic. It jumps. It it goes up and down the staircase. You have to just track it down and just shoot it. It takes it takes a fair amount of shots to kill, but Basically, you just track it down and just try to catch it. it. It jumps, it goes up the staircase, it comes down the staircase, it jumps off the banister, all that kind of stuff. I don't use this one much anymore, but it's just another one that you could use if you want to try to do go back. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much I have everything I have for you guys for today in the regards of sensitivities and stuff like that. And just overall, just trying to get better. Um, like I said, if you guys have, oh, I don't think I've said this before, but if you guys have any more questions basically to ask me, any more like tips for this like certain matter, uh, you're more than welcome to drop them down below and I'll try to get to them. If you guys have any quick tips for anything else, uh, you guys can just drop them below. I might make another video on them or I'll just respond to you right there. It really just depends on the matter of the question. If it's like multi-step and complicated, I, I might make another video just to try to explain it. Um, but that's pretty much everything for me today. If you have any questions, drop them either down below or I stream. I try to stream at least every day around 6 or 7 on Twitch, which uh, twitch.tv slash lethal game, which should be on the screen right now. I'll just type it out. It's also down in the description. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys Monday. I am now be somewhere.